Hello Facebook, this is Marty from Utah Some Performance and it's been a while, a month, solid month since I've been able to get back to work on the blower here. So um, basically I want to give an update real quick of what's going on here. We've got a, a wedding with Savannah, everybody knows Savannah, my daughter. So she, she's getting married, which means she's probably moving out. I'm just kidding, Nina. She's probably watching this. So anyway, I'm trying to get this one ready and uh, get one on her truck. Um, I've got a GT500 uh, with the uh, opposite side over here for throttle body. I mean, actually, I can move this to the other side, but this the Rams have so much room in this bay area over here that I'd kind of like to stay with that. So basically, here's where I'm at. Um, I got the heads in from Chris at PIE. He did a wonderful job. It's probably the first, well, maybe the second or third set he's put on the Mazak CNC machine. So he's done an outstanding job with the CNC machine on these heads. If you have any questions, contact him at Performance Injection Equipment in Delaware, and uh, he can hook you up with the same setup. I run his heads on all my stuff here. I just let him go to town and do what he wants to do, and I tell him what I'm getting ready to do, and he matches it to it. As for uh, my next hurdle, uh, I'm up to my, uh, my billet fuel rails now, and uh, I'm going to be machining them, setting them into place, and running the 60-pound injectors, running my tabs off the blower housing here. And after that, I'm moving over to my offset thermostat housing. So if you've got a, if you've got a non-AC truck, man, this is, this is the setup, because it's so easy with a non-AC setup. But with the AC setup, i got to offset this housing. And I have to take your AC compressor. I'm going to have to move it out to, to here, and then run the belt that way, and then run my tensioner in the middle here for a squeeze around for the blower and then this will stay back in the normal spot here um, I'm probably gonna end up machining a lot of this the rest of this these uh, pieces on the top here off nice and smooth make clean the look up here but I'm going to come around the backside here and come out at an angle I'm gonna redesign a new throttle body in CAD sit it this way uh, 108 millimeter oval that way your throttle cables come back in the same spot and they're not high or low like some of the other stuff has been in the past and it's going to be pretty much perfect. It'll come around this way perfect, and then you'll have your air filter assembly right here, just like any standard GT500, Shelby, LS1 setup where they run over to the passenger side. So um, got to finish getting this 408 together. Got to end up putting all the most of that together. But right now the concentration is on getting the blower ready uh, for for. Uh, well, hopefully I can sell these brackets for you guys so you guys can do the same thing. You can do your own machining and get these done. I'm not, I'm not sure I'd want to do this on a, for full time for a living because it is a lot of work. But anyway, so there you go. There's your update for August. Uh, keep an eye out. Um, I will continue on and put some updates on as I get farther ahead on this. Um, get past these hurdles of fuel rails, intake, everything on here. Uh, coming around with the throttle body. I gotta finish printing all that out and then we'll get it installed in one of the trucks here and go play with it. it. Should be pretty fun. We've all had centrifugal ones in the past and we all know that they make full boost at five, six thousand RPM. Well, this one's gonna six to eight pounds of boost uh, for this setup um, at 1500 RPM. So your tires are gonna love that and it'll be a lot of fun on the guys that are running four wheel drive. So question is can you fit this in a jeep you know it's going to be so high that we'll be able to fit it in a jeep i, I hope we can it'll be a lot of fun well there you go there's your update uh, if you guys have any questions you can email me at utah some performance or tech at utah some performance or visit the website um, and then we can go from there this this also will be up on the website too for everyone to see any questions give me a holler take care fellas and we'll talk to you later